What is up, Epic Gamers? Welcome back to a brand new video to the channel. If you guys are not brand new to the channel, please do consider subscribing if you're not enjoying this video. But today's gonna be a bit of a different one because I just want to talk about how you can end up getting more trophies in Brawl Stars. So first off, most important tip that I have for y'all is if you want to get more trophies, you have to play a lot. Like it's that simple. You want to play all the day. Like I saw here a screenshot from Sun Bentley that I'm gonna put on the screen. 16 hours a day on average, so just cut off all your friends and family, just play Brawl Stars all the time. Yeah, and second tip is play in a team. You absolutely do not want to play with randoms. You want to make sure you always have a team. So the best advice for me that I have uh, to find a team is join, first of all, an active club. Make sure you have active friendly. So you might be wondering how do you get this if you don't have a lot of trophies in the first place you have no idea where to go so the best club for you is going to be a club at around your own trophy level and you just need to make sure it's an active one uh, and then you want to obviously make sure that it's the same with your friends or so what you can join uh, what you can do is play with randoms then make sure you add all the good randoms you play with build up your friend list make sure that whenever you come online there's always going to be someone that you can invite and if there happens to be a day that there's not anyone online you want to make sure that you are on some active discord servers where you can join in and write that you need someone to play with so you can for example check out my discord server if you want to find some people to play from there the advantage of playing on discord as well is that if everyone is now you can be voice chatting with people which is really helpful now to my next tip is that you want to absolutely make sure that you're playing with the best combo possible there's no point to try to have just a straight up bad combo to try to push with this. You're going to be losing every other game. Like even top players, if they don't have a good combo, they're going to be losing games to random people. So you absolutely do want to make sure that you have best possible combo that you can have. So the best ways that you can easily find out which combo is going to be the best one, you can use websites like Gold Stats. They give recommendations. So... It's not going to give you maybe the best combos, but it's going to give you a good idea on what brawlers uh, can work there. So it's not going to be perfect, but you can definitely use this uh, to help you find a better combo. And then you can switch up brawlers depending on what you need to push. So that's definitely really helpful. I'll leave a link to the sites in the description below. Alright, so the next thing I want to talk about is what game mode you're going to be playing. So there's definitely a huge difference to what game mode is going to give you the most trophies. So the fastest games that you can get is going to be Brawl Ball. And the faster you win your games, the more trophies you're going to be getting. So obviously, Brawl Ball is going to be the best pick for the most players to push in there. Especially if you're having a high win rate. So for top players, it's definitely the best pick. But if you're already struggling to gain trophies as it is right now, I'd recommend that you just make sure you go the best modes for the brawler. So if you're really struggling to push, for example, Piper, then maybe consider to going in Bounty, where Piper is going to be really strong. So always try to play the best mode. But if you are just winning really fast every game, like you definitely want to make sure you go for Brawl Ball because that is where you're going to be able to get the fastest games and you're going to be able to get the most trophies. And also, the next thing I want to talk about is make sure that your teammates have the same trophy level as you. If you play with someone in your team who have a lot more trophies than you, you're going to be facing some much better opponents and you don't have to make it that hard for yourself. If you have few trophies with a brawler, you can push out really easily and you just need to play with people at around your trophy level so you don't end up facing much harder opponents than you really have to. Which also leads me to the next point, which is make sure that you push your... Brawlers that have the lowest trophies. If you want to increase your total amount of trophies, push all of your brawlers. Don't just push your favorite brawler. You want to make sure you push from the bottom up and then get all to the to around the same level. And then once you have all like, let's say 500, then you push all to 600, then you push all to six, 700, etc, etc. You don't want to just have some brawlers that are much higher in trophies than the rest of them. The second next thing I want to talk about is going to be the season reset. If you want to push a lot, Make sure that you start pushing in the beginning of the new season so you don't end up being season reset in the middle of everything. Obviously now with this season reset change it's not going to affect you so much. But definitely if you're going to be pushing your brawlers above 800 trophies then it's going to be starting to affect how high you can get. So definitely want to keep an eye on that to make sure you don't just push in the middle of the season. 
And if you want to push really, really high and you really want to like spend a lot of time to break a new record, then you maybe even want to like plan so you push over multiple seasons. So just make sure you keep an eye on this season so you don't end up just losing a lot of trophies out of nowhere. Okay, guys, so that was all for the video. I just wanted to keep it short and simple for you guys. So I hope you found it helpful. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer some of them if I miss something. So yeah, hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, leave a like and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.